Additional compiler directives are a great way in a shared project to execute pieces of code for specific platforms. Now this is only available in shared projects. It does not work in a portable class library. So to demonstrate this, I have a similar project what we had earlier um, where we're showing a label centered in the, in the, uh, pl on the platform. And I changed the text to welcome to South Mountain CC. It's got a carriage return in it, so it'll be on two lines. I also took that label and I have it centered on the X and the Y alignment. Got the font size, the font attributes, and the background color of that label, which is going to take the entire space of our app. Instead of giving it a, a, an exact color, I'm calling a method that I've written called getBGColor. Let's take a look at that because here's the method. It returns a data type of color. And I start with a variable called BG color, which is a color object. I set it to white by default. But here is where I'm using compiler directives. So we have a hashtag if, and this is an underscore underscore IOS in all uppercase, underscore underscore. So if that is true, um, that I'm using an iOS device or compiling for an iOS device, I'm going to change BG color to red. Then we've got an else if, and here it's pound ELIF underscore underscore Android, all uppercase, underscore underscore. I'm going to set the background color to green. And then another else if. This one is Windows Phone. Note there's, there's no underscores except for between Windows and Phone and all uppercase. Here I'm setting the background color to blue. My end if, hashtag end if, and I'm going to return whatever background color is. So let's test this on our Android device. And there is Welcome to South Mountain CC with a green background. I'm going to come back and stop that. Let's set the iOS as our startup device. I've chosen an iPhone 5S as my emulator. On the Mac I have the 5S emulator running with Xcode. And so I'm going to compile here. It's going to send my project over to the Mac. emulator loading up and we'll see it has a red background. I'm going to stop it here in Visual Studio. Okay, so I turned the Hyper-V virtual machine back on in the Windows features within the control panel. I've come back into Visual Studio for my project and I'm going to set the Windows uh, phone now as the startup project. Choose my emulator and I'm going to run it. Actually, it wouldn't hurt probably to rebuild at this point. I'm going to run the emulator. And there is my application running with the blue background using the compiler directive.